to uh, hopefully capture some uh, better data than we did the last time. Um, going to do some photogrammetry on the church you see behind us and hopefully it turns out to be in a really interesting building. Our aim here is to capture the derelict church from all angles and create a detailed 3D model for printing. Uh, the church tells the story of 800 years of architectural changes. It still features its original 11th century chancel and a north arcade added in the early 14th century as a significant medieval enhancement. The 19th century saw major renovations, including the replacing the original uh, timber bell cup tower uh, with the west tower that you see here. By 1855, with the construction of the new Richmond church, the older site was relegated to a mortuary chapel and gradually fell into disuse and decay. Now, surrounded by protective fencing, the church is slowly being reclaimed by nature, with vegetation creeping through its structure. So aerial photogrammetry, I think, is the best option for a site like this, given the fact that access is a little bit restricted. Yes, you can use a DSLR camera, uh, can go around and capture a really nice high-resolution image and create a really nice model. The problem, however, access inside is limited, access to the roofs even more limited. So aerial photogrammetry is, I think, the best solution to be able to actually capture every single angle that you really need. Yes, the shadows, the fencing, the vegetation is going to pose a little bit of a challenge, but we're going to take a two-fold approach here, doing a cross-hatch mission as well as orbital flight around it, capturing 35, 45 and 75 degree angles, and stitch those together to make a really comprehensive model. So, yeah, let's get into this and uh, capture some data. all the data that we need. Um, hopefully it turns out all right. I think we've covered all our bases in this one um, to make a really comprehensive and interesting model. So yeah, let's get back to our spare bedroom and process some data. So we've got the model here, and I've got to say it's one of the coolest models um, that I've ever printed. Um, is it the most, you know, it's a high resolution, high quality model that, that uh, you've ever seen? Absolutely not. Um, are you going to get better results if you use something like LiDAR or, you know, ground-based uh, laser scanning options, something like that? Absolutely. You know, those, those solutions uh, are really, you know, bespoke for this sort of application in some capacity. Um, 
But what it does showcase is, you know, data capture in a relatively small amount of time. And, you know, to be able to produce something that looks like this, of this quality, I, I'm, I'm chuffed to bits. I think it is one of the coolest things in the world. Things that I thought it would really struggle with, certainly on the inside of the church itself, where you've got high contrasting shadows, to be able to capture the archways, the, uh, the pillars themselves, the, even the windows inside. Um, it's captured all of that data and it's done such a fantastic job of doing it. Um, the vegetation around the site, it's captured that. Yes, you know, is it a little bit blobby? Absolutely. But um, you yeah, know, things like the footpaths going through uh, to even this hedge on the side and my favorite little tree um, that I left in because I just thought it was, <laughs> it was so cool. Um, it's done such, a, such an amazing job. Um, at, at reproducing what the site actually looks like and, and it's tangible you know you can physically interact with it and that that to me is the coolest thing that's why I became an archaeologist to be honest with you because you know I like holding things in my hand and and, and being able to really interrogate them uh, and that's what this does so you know I hope you guys have learned something and I hope that um, you, you've, you've just enjoyed yourselves and liked what you see so and if that's the case please consider subscribing and you know, let me know in the comments below what I should do next or or what you might do differently because absolutely we're all here to learn and I'm open to, to learning new things with you. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one.